Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Desolation. Last episode we went to Ruby Island to try and solve Majira's secret. We got another key from Adarin because she was there and we managed to uh, beat her to the key that was underground. We had to battle her for the uh, the third key. She was like, yo, I want to go on this adventure, but maybe you should do it. I want to see if you're ready. And uh, battled her and she was very, very difficult. She had a Verizion as well, just uh, using it because Verizion just stayed on Ruby Island, just protecting it. And that means she gets to use it for whatever reason. I don't know. It just made it a lot more difficult. Uh, we then took on Garrett, got our seventh gym badge. We can now get to level 70. Did a little bit of grinding. I want to get on level 70, but then um, it was taking too long. So the Ordino trainer was level like 50. I was like, oh, okay, you know what? Grown a few levels. It's fine. It's fine. So now we're going to head south to Celia South. <laughs> Go meet up with Garrett and take a speedboat to an island where Team Crescent have been seen. And someone is attacking Team Crescent, which is, um, you know, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> so where are you, Garrett? Which, uh, nope. Need to find someone at the docks. Not this bit. Okay, it's got to be here because there's a boat. Yeah, there we go. All right, good job sorting her out, mate. I'm sure we can take her from here. I doubt it, mate. You want the fastest boat we had, right? You think they let you a life sentence on wheels? Run off with it? Get real. Well, aren't you all roses and flowers? Do we have a problem here, mate? I don't know, do we? You know, you're always welcome to take a paddle boat. Why don't I even help her out, man? This is ridiculous. Look, I respect you, man. The fact is, Celia can't just give you everything that you want, just because you're good now. I am good. I've always been on the right side. You're the crooks, not me. You might like me, but uh, yeah, you might like me, but I sure as hell don't like you. Just get in the boat already. Whatever. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Man, Rosetta knows how to pick him. Hey, what's up? Ah, you must be Voxy. Your rowdy mate just arrived. <laughs> you could say he's a bit in a, a bit of a mood, I guess. Anyway, I'll be the skipper for today. Once you're on Bountelia Island, the rest is up to you guys. So ready to hit it? Yes, I am. Let's go. I am excited. Man, oh man. I always forget what life is like outside of being the big smog. Uh, there's something about getting out in nature, you know? If you like it so much, we can always leave you here. You know, you're really pushing me, mate. Come to think of it, it's too serene. Weirdo. No, mate. Didn't Rosetta say this place was under attack? Doesn't look under attack to me, that's for sure. Something's fishy. I don't know what. Could be you, to be honest. Have you ever showered? Are you thinking about being helpful anytime soon, mate? Dude, I just drove the boat. This ain't my mystery to solve. Ah, you people. Fine, let's get this over with then. Voltsy, better get get a move on. Better to keep your eyes peeled, mate. There could be crescent goons anywhere. Alright, let's go. Uh, I should have bought some repels. Can I go back real quick so I buy some supplies and stuff? Oh, yes. Alright, I'm going to probably buy some supplies because I should have done that before, but I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, we're back. I have some repels. I have some potions. We are looking real good. So, start making our way up and meet up with Garrett. See what's going on. Crescent, huh? It's been a wee while since I ran into those folk. Same with you, I bet. Crescent's a joke, man. They spent all their time fighting us to get anything done. Don't even have a reasonable goal, anyway. They say they follow Baron because he wants world peace or whatever. But that ain't it. Baron doesn't care about peace or some other noble crap. He just wants to be stronger. He was always like that, even from the start. You know, I used to know him, back in the day. He was a teacher at the trainer school I went to. Yeah, imagine that dude telling you off of a uh, shrieking class. I'll admit it, he was a decent enough teacher. He always pushed me to be stronger, and to do the right thing. But man, even then, he couldn't handle losing. He wasn't the strongest trainer either, that's for sure. Power or not, some people aren't cut out to be trainers. Come on, let's get a move on. Alrighty, ooh. Uh, wait, can I just quickly surf and and get this item up here real quick. What we got? Max Revive. Oh, that's going to come in handy. Uh, anything else? No, we're good. So I have one Revive and one Max Revive to use in case we get into a bit of trouble, which I'm assuming we're probably going to battle Baron very soon. All right, let's not waste any time. Heard that the mountain here is pretty dangerous, which means it's definitely my kind of scene. Nevertheless, I that you didn't get lost. So if this leg of the trip, we'll stick together. Let me know when you're ready to head in, mate. I recommend healing first. Already done it, mate. Excellent. Let's get the show on the road. Garrett, join the team. Hey. Ooh. Okay, uh... Let's lead off with Fuji. Going for this little fiery 
cavern who I looks fiery. I'll admit, Foxy, it is a wee bit too toasty for my liking in here. One smog was so quickly replaced with another, just my luck. Ooh. There's one of the devils. About time, too. I was starting to think we were alone on this island. They look alive, I guess. Let's keep moving, alright? When was the last time we battled, um, Team Krillin? It was Blackview, right? Hey, heard voices coming from this way. Damn it, another intruder. What the hell is going on here? Couldn't stay well enough alone, could we? Nah, I'm not complaining. I knew it. See, I was right. There were intruders. You. You're one of those Celia gym leaders. Man, that notoriety feels kind of good. You made a mistake coming here. Even if you beat us, there's way worse coming your way. Save it, mate. Forty, let's have some fun. Hey, I'm down for some fun. Love the music. And a Pidgeot. Oh, dude. Okay, it's fine. We can go for Rock Slide. Oh, you got Rock Slide as well? Hey, let's go. Double Rock Slide. And your life orb. Okay. That sucks for you. <laughs> and Fuji just chilling there like, yeah, I'll take the XP. All good. Oh, okay. Uh, probably should switch out here. Let's go into Sparky. Oh, you got a Z move. Okay. Nice, nice. Uh, gonna go Thunderbolt. Explosion. Oh, you would. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, so now the field's on fire. Great. Let's go back into Fuji. Gonna go for a Lava Plume. Oh, you just lived? Seriously? That sucks. Now let's took out the Breloom. Oh, cool. Flamefield took you out. <laughs> right, let's go for Earthquake. If we can get this off. Nice, should take them both out. So far, so good. Let's go. Man, Fuji, too good. Another Earthquake, why not? It's just gonna say, sorry, Infernape, probably gonna take you out. Pretty sure Fuji Earthquake um, Infernape in our battle against Garrett last episode. <laughs> Another Earthquake! Earthquake everything! Kinda of feel bad. Okay, maybe not. I don't get the Earthquake off. Who wants the XP though? Oh wait, never mind. No one gets XP. Sad. Damn it, not again. It's over, Sarah. Gotta get out of here. Wait, when we were battling you mentioned another trainer. Who were they? What do they look like? Seriously? You beat our Pokemon and leave us defenseless and now you wanna help you now you want us to help you? We don't know anything, okay? It was just one trainer, and they were dressed in black. Now give us a break. We're getting the hell out of here. You should do the same. Dressed in black? Doesn't really make sense, mate. Doesn't really matter though, does it? It's probably Nova, and we know that we can handle her. Let's get a move on. Uh, the only person I can think of in black is Hardy or Lilith, right? Is there someone new? Uh, let's cancel the repel. Cause grind around here. Ooh! Shiny Graveler. Nice. Don't really want to catch it though. Unless, if I go for Earthquake and it's got Sturdy, I might throw a ball. Huh. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> no, my XP! I just kind of want that Shiny Graveler for a second then, but. Whatever. Let me guess. You're gonna live with Sturdy, and then you're gonna explode. No, oh, double edge, okay. Fair enough. Oh, hey, hold up. Team Crescent, man. It's always some legendary Pokemon or some radical new technology. You know, if they use the talent within the organization for good, imagine how much they contribute. Same with the Foxes, man. They're leagues ahead of our scientists with work on the Beamer Grid. Just wish these organizations could have a happier ending, instead of us being sent to extinguish them. Especially dudes like Baron, you know? When you compare him to Nova, his desperation to be stronger is kind of sad. Man, I don't know. Just got me thinking. Anyway, never mind any of that soppy crap. Let's get back to work. Indeed. Ooh, turn here. Gonna switch out Fuji soon, because Fuji's almost level 70, but... Just like how at the start of the game we were training with Connor, you know, it's just really easy to do to, to grinding like this. To get healed up after every battle, so... Don't really mind getting into fights. 
be a lot easier to grind here than it would be uh, the Ordino Trail, that's for sure. And Earthquake. <laughs> Alright, yo. Don't get paid enough to fight gym leaders. You must be with that other trainer. You're going down. Oh, we'll see about that. Alright, gonna go for a Lava Plume. Did they double fake out Min, Min Xiao? Yikes. Why does like fake out me? Whatever, it's fine. Uh gonna. I'm gonna rock slide. Oh. Kinda like I'll outspeed you a little bit, but. <laughs> uh just gonna keep on lava plume. This don't work. Nice. Just gonna keep going for it. Aqua jet. Yeah, it's fine. With the flame field, we good. And you got Moxie, okay. That's cool, but. Actually, that's fine, actually. Now, who wants the XP? Let's go Toxicroak. And Sucker Punch Golark. But it failed. What are you going for? Did you not attack? Is it me the Gol Golark not attacking? I swear I didn't attack or do anything. Right, okay. I should go for my Z move. Ah, stop not doing anything. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's gonna be hard for Rosebud to get some XP, so I'm gonna go into you now. Just so you get a little bit. Go on, Sludge Bomb, do some work. Get wrecked, dude. Ooh. I barely have to do a thing. I can just like just spam attacks and oh, I need to switch out Fuji because you're not gonna get any more XP. Oh, who should I need? Off? Let's go Rosebud because it's gonna be the hardest to train you up, and that way we can just get a little bit of XP and yeah, hopefully help out a little bit later on. So if we're gonna have to battle Baron, he's gonna be a tough, tough battle. 66, nice. Oh, damn. These knocked out Crescent dudes are everywhere. Whoever did this, they really did take on half a Crescent by themselves. There's not too many trainers that could have that could fit that description. I don't even know if Nova's that strong. We'd better catch up and quick. Uh, let's... Sludge bomb everything. Giving this mean shower just actually does quite a bit of damage, so... It's nice. I forgot Rosebud gets boosted XP as well, so grinding's gonna be super easy. More knocked out Crescent members. Yo! Trust me, kid, you're messing with the wrong crew. Who are you supposed to be? Get out of here! Uh, how about new? Oh, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go for Petal Blizzard. Should easily be able to finish them both off. That's one. That's two. So far, so good. Uh, sludge Bomb Torkoal. Nice. Level 67, let's go. We're getting levels fast, dude. <laughs> Did like no damage to me. Nice. Just gonna keep Sludge Bomb in um, the right Pokemon. No, attack Swallow, because he's gonna be the harder one to take out for me. Sludge Bomb's everywhere. Nice. Gyarados, Okidoki, Sludge Bomb some more. Wonder if Scrafty will go for his uh, Z move. Nope, just a crunch. Now it's a Z move. Good. Let's go. Uh, so we can go down or we can go left. go both. Just think we might be able to get level 70 before like, the next Crescent battle. <laughs> Already level 69, nice. Let's go. Uh, okay, so let's try down because it looks like left might be the right way to go. 
fucking, we want to go the wrong way. Did not mean to go for toxic. Nice. Still want to finish off though with a toxic, which would be good. Nope. And you missed. <laughs> All right, so what do we have down here? Oh, two items. Okay, what do we got? Magnorizer and fire memory. Sweet. Dude. If we want to use Silver Valley, we got some. I should really maybe put Silver Valley on the team. Because the amount of memories we got now, if we ever get into trouble, just switch the memory out. We got what? Psychic, Poison, Fire Water, I think Grass? We got five? We got a few. Our dude is actually looking pretty good. And we got the Eevee as well, we can make any type we want. Oh, we got some seriously good choices. But right now, my team has been killing it, so. I'm not really... I don't know what to switch really. <laughs> My team has just been really, really good. Wait, am I level 70? Yeah, didn't even realize. Um, let's go into Raichu. No, let's go into Pearl, so we can rock slide things. Be a lot easier, a lot quicker. And then you get a Graveler, which... I mean, that's not bad, actually, you know. Break, break it, it's all good. The fact that it's got camera ups in here... If we can find a camera up Mega Stone in here, that would be... So nice, so so nice, but I, you know what? I doubt it. I really doubt it. That'd be so good though. Then we can actually finally mega mega evolve one Pokemon. What I really want is the Krogunk Mega Stone, which I feel like we're probably gonna get from that Cedric guy. We're surely close to the end now. It's getting way too hot for me, man. Let's finish this up and get out of here. Oh, 100 percent. Also, I want to save it because it's been a very long time since I last saved it. This facility is ours, get it? You made it this far, huh? I have. I suppose you made it this far, because I've seen a lot of your like teammates just on the floor out cold. I assume like maybe this trainer's been getting past some of you somehow. Nice. Good, good. Don't attack me. Oh, you attack me. Bro, leave me alone. I want XP. So you gotta leave uh Pearl alone. And of course I miss. So sweet. Uh, who wants the XP? Let's go... Primrose. Oh, that's not that much damage because the heat. Ouch. This is bad. Nice. We don't have speed. Oh, but we just live. Woohoo! That was so close. <laughs> Discharge it is. Uh, of course. <laughs> Man, Raichu is like defensively really weak. I can't talk to Croak. Uh, let's go for it, why not? Just love the animation for it, I think it looks really cool. Is that it? Oh, nope. Ice punch that bad boy as long as you don't attack me. Good. Stupid fire softening the attack. Oh, boy, you have been one dead Noivern. Oh, hurry up. We're out of time. We need help out there. And now. I'm going as fast as I can, okay? That's not fast enough. That trainer is destroying us. Okay, okay, I'm almost done. Stop wasting your time. Don't need all your Pokemon, just something. What are we doing? We don't stand a chance. Oh. Well, at least they're uh, not after us, right? Damn, Nova, or whoever it is. It must be on a tear. Let's get moving, Voltsy. It's gotta be Lilith. 100%. Or Hardy. It's one of those. But at least I'm gonna save it here, because we got. If we get into trouble, we got like. All this good stuff we can grind up. It's. It's fine, it's fine. Man, what the hell happened here? Hey, you dead guy? Tell me what went down here. Oh, that Pokemon. Now oh, what Pokemon? Come on, man, help us out. That damn monkey. Monkey? What's this dude on about? What? What? You crazy lackeys all the same. No wonder you were beaten so easily. Come on, Voltsy. We're almost at the finish line. So it's maybe not Lilith there as a monkey? Primeape? No, what, what kind of monkey Pokemon is there? Got the elemental monkeys, you got Primeape. 
Uh, who do you think you are, anyway? Two people like you that are responsible for the crap that happens around here? Oh. This is your last warning, eh? Just open the damn door. Okay, okay, please just leave me in my research bee. Doesn't have to be this way, you know? Crescent is the only one that allows me to do the research I need to do. I tried with Rosetta and I tried with Celia. That ain't my problem, mate. Few people only listened to me and really understood. Who would be forced to work with, with criminals? This is evolutionary technology. It will save so many lives. Evolution tech. This stuff's common theme. How do you mean evolution tech? The parameters aren't really accurate yet, and there are still many vari variables to control for. Get to the point already. With a strong enough bond between partner and Pokemon, some individuals may be able to evolve their Pokemon beyond comprehension. As a result, the abilities of some Pokemon will be immensely heightened. The world as we know it could be dramatically improved. Your project and the Foxes, perfection, they're the same. Forcing Pokemon to evolve. That ain't right, man. Forced? No, trainer. Only the purest of bonds can elicit such an evolution. We only know of one individual thus far that has achieved the perfect evolution. Lilith. Liv Lilith and her Umbreon. They're monsters. How can I condone a project that gives birth to monsters? Faulty, doors open. Let's get the job over with. Uh, can I read the book? Why have I talked to you? Hmm. Pokemon that can mitigate our continued destruction of this planet with such power simply waiting for us. It's the right thing to do. Just simply ignore these possibilities. That's the real evil. If we can get a perfection form in this game, like... I don't know what I would want to get perfection form, but like, like rock could be pretty cool. After you, mate. Let's just get this over with. Hey, you there. Oh. You crooks just keep coming, huh? There's no point in battling. It's already over. You're finished. Finished? Mate, we're just getting started. Faulty, let's show them how it's done. Alright, let's go. Right, rock slide. Nice. Flinch it. No flinch. That's fine. Oh man, just one shot on everything, Minxiao. Flinch it. Give me the flinch, dude. I barely ever get the flinch with my rock slide. Sharpedo getting a fake out. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you got the flinch. There you go. <laughs> Complain about it enough, you, you eventually get it. Alright, uh, let's go... Primrose. Come on, please live. Nice. Just want to live a little bit so we can do a little bit of damage. Let me finish you off. Nice. Oh, down my eyes. Good. Come on, get level 67. Nice. Oh, we just lived a Thunderbolt? Seriously? Oh, Primrose. Let's go. Absolute monster. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, who needs the XP? Toxic Krug it is. Uh, this is actually kind of bad. He attacks me with a flying type move, we could- Oh, we take an Infernape, nice. Good, and Sucker Punch. I hate it when Sucker Punch fails, but it's fine. Ooh. I thought Bug Boss was going to do a lot more to Scrafty then, but... It's all good. We lost, big deal. Doesn't make any difference. Uh oh. As I said, it's over. First we'll do you two, then the other trainer. Faulty, I'm a great battler, but I think it's time to gap it. As in, now! Move it! <laughs> Stop them! Hit the gates! Oh no. I suppose that one will have to do for now. Like hell, man. Good, it's gonna take more than a couple of goons to bring me down. You guys are pathetic. Sides, I ain't just any trainer, mate. I can fight you wimps all day. Try your luck then. Think these odds scare me, mate? Nah, this is the stuff that I live for. Faulty, what are you still standing there for? Get a move on, find Baron and stop this mess. Celia doesn't need Crescent skulking around, and not with the foxes coming. You got a chance to end it, so end it. Alright Lucario, it's you and me. Good luck, man, good luck. Are we fully healed? Good. Oh. Get healed up here at least. Uh, sup? 
I was sent to stop you from coming in, but just go on ahead. I'm not built for this kind of fighting. I wanted to make a difference, but this, is, this isn't what I had in mind. Oh. Tell me the truth, Baron. What did you do? Where is she? Could it be? Is it him? Finally? You're making a big mistake, boy. Oh, okay, so it's definitely not Lilith. Is it Hardy? Everything you've done, everything you're doing, it's all for nothing. Oh, it's him, Voltsy. You remember your promise? Oh, it's Shiv. Oh, snap. Well, well. This is my day couldn't get any worse. Huh? Voltsy, what the hell are you doing here? Last time I saw you, you fought my sister. Voltsy, never thanked you properly for saving Nova. Even if only for a time. This was a torture reunion, really. None of this concerns you, old timer. The only part of this is that should worry you is, is Nova. You're gonna tell me where she is, and now. I know she came here before she disappeared. I know you're behind this. You've really lost your touch, haven't you? Remember when you uh, were colder, calmer, stronger. Now you're just a pathetic shell. Nova, I made you weak, Shiv. No, you're wrong. Nova made me a person. A person? Ha! <laughs> you and your sister. You're not people, you're abominations. You shouldn't even exist. You never should have. If you want an answer, I'll give you one. Nova is gone, Shiv. I saw her, yes. She came here and told me to refocus our organization's research to Pokemon Evolution. She was afraid of something, and it certainly wasn't you or your sister. After that, she ran off again. Such a shame, isn't it? She didn't spare you a second thought. You're lying, Baron. Any idiot could see that. Lying? <laughs> the only one is lying. The only one lying is you, boy. You're lying to yourself if you think you deserve a better existence than the one you had. You're a monster, skulking around the shadows, causing mischief and hurting my good work. Think your abilities make you strong? But inside you're actually weak. You deserve nothing, Shiv. And that's why Nova ran away. You're the weak one, Baron. Oh snap. You insolent little. Have you completely lost your mind? This facility is built within a volcano. Would you risk all of our lives just to prove your brash and arrogant point? You chose not to answer my question, Baron. So it's on you. I told you the truth, boy. This? This is madness. This is Sparta. <laughs> is it truly? To the contrary, Baron. I never felt more clarity than I do right now. I see. So that's how it's going to be. If you uh, won't see reason, then I'll have to put you out of your misery for good. Go ahead. Fool yourself into thinking you're the hero. When it comes down to it, you're nothing. You always have been nothing. But you, want, you wanted what we have, but you know, you'll never have it. Even in Vegia, a weekly crafted prophecy. Just to give you an excuse to try and execute someone. Just to make you feel like you're a part of something. Please, Baron. Faulty, I need your help. One last time. You helped get rid of Nova in the first place? Doing this will bring me close to her. Please fight with me. Yeah, I'm gonna fight with you. I, I, you know what? I'm gonna fight with Shiv, yeah. Faulty, hi. Thank you. My dear brother. Finally, we're almost there. So close to waking up. So close to being free. Oh, my head, damn it. What, what is this? No, I'm too close. A pathetic sight, truly. Two lost souls, working together. Knowing what you are, you should hate one another. But no, you think you'll find the greater evil? What I'm doing is for the good, for, good of this world, whether you two see that or not. Know that, this, know that doing this doesn't please me. Shiv, I don't need anything more to beat you than what I already have. That's what, the real, that's what real strength is. You? You're alone and you have nothing. You're just chasing the shadow of someone who is just as lost as you are. That's how you'll always be. I'll put you out of your misery if I have to. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Me and shit, boy. Level 69 APOM, okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to crunch that Gengar. Fake out the APOM, oh, it's on the, the uh, Lipid, nice. Oh, great. Got one shot. <laughs> Fine. So far, so good. Uh, let's rock slide. Oh, it's a mega hair across. Okay. That's not good. Right. We outspeed it. So, if I go for Stone Edge, maybe I can. Oh, you got Mega Charizard X? Nice. And we missed the. Ah, oh, dude, that Stone Edge would have. Been so nice to have uh, landed. I mean, at least that took you out. That's fine. It's fine. Gonna go into Sparky. Oh, you're part ground, aren't you? 
a psychic on it. It's kind of annoying. Just want to train up some Pokemon. Maybe it's not the best time to be grinding, but... Going to Rosebud. Can't risk it. Oh, we both got Roserade. Hey. Let's go. Giga Drain. That's nice. I got Petal Blizzard. I'll take them both out. Don't worry, Shiv. My Roserade is a little bit better than yours. Just a little. Oh, okay. I'll take it out. It's fine. Wait, have you got Black Sludge as well? We've got Black Sludge. Hey. Thunderbolt. Oh, that was a critical hit and you just lived. That's actually kind of insane. Uh, Sludge Bomb you. Nice, nice. The sludge Bomb the Electros. Oh, okay, you're gonna heal up, that's fine. No! It's all good, it's all good. Gonna go for our Z move and try and take out the Electros. Oh, are you kidding me? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, you just lived? Bro. You got lucky. Gonna Aqua Jet just finish you off. And never mind. <laughs> oh, that really sucks. It's gonna kill me. Oh, that's so annoying. I can't believe you went for that. Got Fuji left. Uh, rock slide it is then. It's not looking great. I just gotta try and live. I don't wanna waste my um my max revive. If they can keep attacking me and I can just like be the tank here and let Gyarados take him out, I'm fine with that. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Why Hydreigon? Go on, Gyarados. Oh, you got this, Shiv. Shiv, come on, dude, no! Oh, no, you actually lost? Oh, that sucks. Alright, so I think we've almost won. This time it's gone a lot better. A lot, lot better. And some other Pokemon have gained some levels, which is great. Nice. This is it. We won. No, almost. Almost. Just Delmise left. And we've got plenty of Pokemon. And we'll go for our Z move. Should hopefully take it out. Nice. And now it should be over. Easy. This time I didn't try grinding. <laughs> Ah, damn it. See, Baron? Some things never change. Don't know why you bother to begin with. Do what you will, then. I told you everything. But you're so caught up in your own madness that it doesn't matter. How can you expect me to believe a single word you say? It's over, Baron. Fine, it's over. So what now, boy? Are you gonna kill me? Is that it? Maybe I will. You're pathetic, Shiv. Nova's gone. Think that'd bring her back? No. But it sure as hell make me feel better. Oh, no. But what is that? Faulty, do you... do you feel that too? Shiv, it's time to come home. What the hell? What on earth are you two blabbering on about now? Shiv! Sis? Aurora, is that you? Alright, show's over. I didn't want any help, but I guess Rosetta didn't trust me all that much. So, who wants a piece? Faulty, mate, you okay? Faulty? It took me so long to realise after I left. I just really like being around you. Don't expect me to be ditching you anytime soon. I thought I could do this, but... But seeing you in front of me with... For all your hope? How can you be so convicted, Volty? Our memories? You're all good people. We both know what? Uh, you both know that I'm the better trainer here, but... Well, after that fluke over on Redcliffe, it seems I have, have to have a rematch with you someday. That being said, I guess it was, well... It was, well, a good battle. This wasn't such a mess. I really wouldn't mind just hanging out, you know? We're almost there, Boltsy. Well, well. You truly are something, hmm? 
Turns out that I just misjudged you. Your passion for battling is amazing, Voltsy. The heart and soul that you put into each move? Stuff's incredible, mate. You really are a great trainer. I can respect that. Is this world real? Or is it an illusion, designed to fool us? In reality, the answer doesn't matter. The world that matters is home. And to me, this world will always be home. Voltsy, you have to search for the cracks, but not in this world alone. No, 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 put me back in. Garrett's all alone. Uh, have we read this one already? Is it our destiny to endure this torture, to never be free? All this power, and still no way out. We need help, but who, I wonder? Shiver Nova? They've always mentioned, of course, that Pokemon. I think we've read this one before already. Uh, right, so Shiv should now be awake. Shiv, Shiv, you're awake! Uh, what's happening? Where am I? Shiv? Shiv, please come back. Oh, yes, yes, finally. Man, what is this? Hey, take it slow, buddy. Sis? Damn, what's going on? You woke up, Shiv. You've been in the dream for a long, long time. The dream? I... what? Where am I? Small steps, okay? You're at our manor, just north of Otis Village. Otis, that does sound familiar. Wait, the dream? Nova? In Otis? Wasn't that where the failed... Oh, Volta, you made it. To be honest, I thought I had lost you in the dream. It started to go away, of course, and I lost track of you. Once you were close to Shiv, our connection re-emerged. I guess you are trustworthy, then. The work was sloppy, but you got there in the end. So thanks, Voltsy. What are you talking about? You wouldn't wake up from the dream, Shiv? Not alone. Someone had to go into the dream and find you. Only then I could bring you back. If I went alone, there was a good chance that I wouldn't wake up again. That's where Voltsy came into things. I, uh... It's been a while, I guess. Something hasn't quite come back to me yet. I was really caught up in there, wasn't I? I, I felt some things I don't think I've felt before. That rambling idiot never didn't help matters either. Even I got tricked into thinking she was a good person. Not that it matters anymore. We're both out, finally. Here, I guess. I get it. You need some rest. We'll talk soon, Shiv. Voltsy, now that Shiv is out, there's something I need to discuss with you. Please meet me downstairs. And please, don't take so long this time. I'll try not to. Can I read this uh, book? Uh, have I read this one before? Dean Nova has done a great misdeed. Yeah, I've read this one before. Voltsy, I... I'm just really confused at the moment. What's happening? I need, I need some time. It's all really foggy, you know? Wait, we fought together, right? We battled that old guy. Nova. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we kicked his butt, man. Kicked his butt. You know, things were much simpler before all of this. Before our lives became completely entangled in this mess. Shiv wanted to become the league champion. Not just one within the dream. And I? I was going to meet him at the top and beat him. Our journey together was meant to be perfect. But here we are. At the end of the road. There's still time to fix that dream, you know? Shiv and I, we were planning something. Before being sucked back into the dream. We had a plan to save, well, everyone. Listen, I was doing a lot of digging while you were gone. I spoke with the counselor and Otis, and I dug through our old, our old archives. Finally. What I found was interesting. Come on, follow me. Was that a yellow book there before? Why would I wake up when it's so wondrously beautiful here? The dream, it's where we were meant to be all along. Uh, I want to make sure that, like, I have read... Oh, wait, what? Dream Warp in part one. Have I read this one? Yeah, I've read the RME, the REM stage. I've read this, haven't I? You see, Voltsy, there might be a way out for everyone. Yes, I know. When I made this discovery, at first I thought it was impossible. Those that are actually real people within the dream, they're not just projections of our emotions. They can be saved. Listen, Volty. We can wake up the people of the so-called Aerith region and bring them here. Home. The people in the dream that you spend so much time with, those bonds can be real if we wake them. Volty, I need your help one last time. Let me show you. The answer to our questions, the solution to the dream, is hidden deep below. Deep within the dreamscape, there is something waiting for us. An old being with abilities that far surpasses our own. With its help, I believe that we can bring everyone back. Shiv and I, we're not strong enough to do what needs to be done. It will never listen to us. Not when we're so... tainted. I'm already getting ahead of myself. Let's just explain what it actually is. Voltsy, what we're looking for. It's a Pokemon. 
Shiv, you're up. You know, I remember all of it. I found the answer to Aurora just before I was sucked back into the dream. Voltsy, Aurora is right. We have a chance to wake up everyone. We have a chance to bring everyone home, here, to Odis and beyond. Even her. Who are we not to take this chance? To leave them for nothing? No, if we do this together, then we can bring them all back. Voltsy, I know you just rescued Shiv from the dream. This is for all three of us. Shiv's right, we have a chance. One last job, the three of us together. We can go together, find this Pokemon, and end the dream for good. Voltsy, everything we've done within the dream is meaningless. However, if we bring them back, bring them here, we can make it real. In that case, I'll make the last few preparations. Let's get this done. One last shot. I don't... I don't know. Have I read this one? I'm just gonna make sure like I interact with everything because I don't wanna make, don't wanna like miss anything we could potentially, potentially do. I might go back to Otis if I can, just to maybe talk to Tristan or something and talk to the council, maybe see what they have to say. If I can. Uh, it's locked. But what if we speak to Booker? Booker might have some information for us. It's locked. Okay, so we can't talk to the main people. Oh man, I'm so... I just have to roll with it, right? I'll, I'll save it before, just in case something bad happens. Alright, we ready? Bolt's in, you just rescued Shiv? Okay, yep. Am I going in? Don't know how long it will be gone for, Volty. I want to make sure that you're prepared. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Excellent. We're ready too. Anyway, as you know, I've got my strengths. So yeah, I mean, there's a portal to take. Unless you prefer to walk miles underground. It's up to you, really. No, it's not. We're taking the portal. I've been sleeping for a week straight. It's not exactly up for a marathon. <laughs> there is one problem with the portal, however. The coordinates, well, aren't exactly accurate. We might not exactly land on top of each other when uh, we go through. Sounds like a win in my eyes. I could use some more time without you. Your last month alone wasn't good enough for you? Doesn't matter. I'm sure we'll be able to find one another once we go through. After that, we'll link up and find the Pokemon. Sounds good enough to me. So, what are we waiting for? After you, Volty. I don't know that you just pushed me in there. Seems a bit suspicious. Volty, at last. It's taken far too long. Come to me. So the thing is, like, the thing that's on my mind is that, like... I feel Lilith was fooled by Shiv and Nova, so it's Shiv and Aurora, right? And I feel like we're getting fooled as well, but like, they didn't come in, it didn't look like they came in with us. Like, what if they stayed outside? I'm so, okay. Save you from the countless conflicts of the dream. I woke you and guided you to Aurora. Right. Now, now it seems that you're finally ready. You, Volty, are strong enough. For what? You, Volty, can end the dream at last. You're so close, Volty, just a little further. We can finally end the cycle. Oh, Volty, what happened to you? You can't let things end this way. Oh, not that way. You're being led astray, Volty. You're better than this. Better than them. Oh, what? You. I thought you wanted to stop this. I thought you would see. I don't want to do this, Volty. Now I have no choice. Volty. I thought you could break through their web of lies. I thought you could decipher their schemes before it was too late. Do you not remember what I told you? You had to see through the cracks, but you couldn't. You were meant to break the cycle, Volty, but not like this. They played you like a fiddle this entire time. And now, I feel that you're lost for good. I thought that I could leave you, and that the, this entire problem would dissolve into nothing. However, I was mistaken. You're stronger than they were, the people of Otis that came before you. And unlike them, I feel that you actually succeed. That's why I have to stop you, before you help the twins and dismantle this entire world. I won't let them use you, but they use me. Oh, we're gonna find out what happened. Mother, father? Where are you? What, what happened? 
Oh, Darkrai. You think they'll be strong enough? I know you're better than that, Lilith. Who do you think you're fooling? Tch, Umbreon, come on. We've got this, just keep fighting. Damn it, not again. Umbreon, please. Come on, Lilith, it's over. You push too hard, both yourself and- Oh, a Shiv. And your Pokemon. You need more training and you know it. More than that, you need some rest. You know, I'm worried about you, Lily. How can I rest? How could Umbreon and I possibly stop after everything? This ends when we say it ends. They're still out there, somewhere. What the? Lilith, my name is Nova. This world isn't what you know it as. Uh, oh. My parents died when I was very young, Faultsy. I searched for them, far and wide. My Pokemon, the police, private detectives. I wouldn't believe uh, that they had simply died or been killed by common street thugs, as Celia could have, uh, could have it. There had to be more to all of this. The truth was even darker. My parents were just a device to push, to push me over the edge, to make me who I am now. Someone with these abilities who could be easily extorted. A monster, just like the twins. All of us are abominations. Pawns in that Pokemon's game. I couldn't stop Nova, and I couldn't stop the twins. And neither can you. My role isn't over, even though I've failed. I can't beat them, but I can certainly stop them. That starts by stopping you. The twins have made you blind, Voltsy. I have no choice but to make you see. You feel a strange force pushing you. Ooh. Did what I could, Voltsy. I left the rest up to you. I made a mistake thinking you were the one to break the cycle. Even then, I was being fooled. I'll do what I must. Faulty, I'm sorry. How was she fooled by... Like... I wonder how she was fooled by him. A battle of lift now, okay. A bit scared that Umbreon, if I'm being completely honest, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. Ooh, okay. You have Focus Sash, that's fine. Nice. One down, loads more to go. Extra drill, we'll go... Fuji. Earthquake this bad boy, you got Z power? Right, that's not good. Pedal Blizzard. That does not do as much as I was hoping it would do. This is looking bad for us. Can we outspeed it? We have Earthquake, that's not bad. Alright, Garchomp, Garchomp, we go for Ice Punch. Does she want to Earthquake everything? Honestly. So I'm going to lose this battle. So she is very difficult. Oh dude, I don't know how I'm going to win this battle. She just like earthquakes everything. So I have to win the battle. Oh man.
Okay, we won. Oh, dude, that... That was hard. I had to spam toxic potions just to beat some of the Pokemon because I couldn't outspeed... I couldn't outspeed anything. Like, the Garchomp was so strong and just... Oh, man. I failed you, Voltsy. I failed everyone. Thought I could stop you, but I was wrong. There's nothing more I can do. I've lost. We've all lost. The only weapon I have now is the truth that they've been so desperately hiding from you. Yet, it was never that simple. If you can't break the, their riddle for yourself, then you won't have the willpower to resist them. You won't be able to stop them, just like those that came before you. But tell me this, what other option do I have? Faulty, forgive me. Alright, let's see what they did. Alright, so Nova comes out. Lilith, my name is Nova. This world isn't what you know it as. What the hell is going on? Who are you? Explain yourself. Don't make my Umbreon angry. You don't have to fight, Lilith. I come here from somewhere far away to bring you a proposition. What if I told you that we could bring your parents back? What if I told you that we could create a world where your parents live again? Then I'd call you crazy. It's a no-brainer. I thought you might say that. I suppose it's particularly outlandish, isn't it? Then again, I did just come for a portal. What do you want with me? What exactly makes me more special than anyone else? It's not that hard to work out, Lilith. You're different from the rest. You have something more. You have a power deep within you, just waiting to be tapped. For us to create our new world, to bring your parents back. We need someone strong enough. Someone like you. I don't understand a new world, power. Why couldn't you do this yourself? One might say that we've already been, well, tainted. We need someone more pure. Someone strong, someone driven, someone moral, someone like you, Lilith. We can bring them back. If I were to believe you and then there was a way to bring them back to start over, what would I need to do? I need to go somewhere deep below, far below even where we came from. There we will find a Pokemon. That Pokemon, once you give it your hand, can create a new world. One where your parents live. I want my parents back more than anything. When they were taken from me, I had nothing. I felt like a whole chunk of my life just disappeared. Yet, yeah, I had to learn to live without them. I had to accept that they were gone. I did accept they were gone. What you're offering me? It isn't right, and I refuse. What? What do you mean? You have the chance to start over, to bring them back, to live the life you never got to live. You just throw it away? It's the right thing to do. What you're offering me? It's a cheat. A con out of what it takes to be alive. Loss and grief are a part of life. Fine, you had a choice. Gobbertail, get rid of her pathetic Pokemon. Young Lily is coming with us one way or another. Umbreon, we've got this. Just hang on, okay? I gave you a chance, Lilith, and you spat at me. Like this, you're weak. At this rate, you'll always be weak. You think hiding away in this corner of the world will help you? You're, di you're different, Lilith, and you'll be found eventually. You're a monster, you and your Pokemon. Like any other monster, you'll be put down. My Pokemon is not a monster. I couldn't save my parents, but I can still save my Pokemon. My Umbreon is my everything. I'm not a monster. Well, it's not a monster. W what is this? Oh, what the what on earth is that? The curse started with Nova. First Nova, then Shiv, then Aurora. And now, they've been grooming you, Volty. Volty, you have to stop them. You have to at least try- Oh, no, not yet. Darkrai. Oh. Uh, right, let me save it. So why do they want to make a new world? Come now, Voltsy. Would you really believe in the darkest spot of the dream? The one who antagonized you from the start? Lilith, as you would call her, is just the embodiment of your fears, holding you back from what can be done, from what needs to be done. Lilith is the last ounce of weakness hiding within you. Instead of clutching to the weakness, why not embrace your strength? Throw away that which makes you normal, Voltsy. You're not so different from us. We are not monsters, Voltsy. We are perfection. It's time to start over, Voltsy. It's time for the dream to end, not just for you, for everyone. So they, they did come through then. Voltsy, about time you arrived. It definitely took you long enough. Come on, it's time. After all this time, after everything we went through, we've finally made it, Shiv. Let's just get this over with. Voltsy, it's been a strange journey, to be sure. We've been enemies, and we've been partners. 
We've been into and out of the dream, now more than once. So there's ups and downs, but that's the nature of the dream, isn't it? The dream reveals us at our deepest core, and sometimes we can't hide from that. For Shiv and I, we're only safe here. If we stay within the dream for too long, we lose our own essence. Nova. But you, Volti, you're different. You've been able to enter and exit the dream at will, and grasp the black and white nature of what's happening. The dreamscape, in this realm, is reality. An Aerith, a dream, equal to nothing. Then there are those that share the dream with you, Volti. Those that were ensnared along with you. Whatever creature cast the dream of Aerith over the dreamscape, it caught so many of us, and now we can set them all free. Without you, we wouldn't be able to have this chance, Volti. The chance to make things right. Let's get to work. We've brought the one you sought. We're ready to continue on. Please guide us as you have for so long. Into your new world. Darkrai. In reality, the answer doesn't matter. The world that matters, it's home. And to me, this world will always be home. So Dark... Darkrai is controlling Shiv and Aurora then, he wants to see us. Faultsy. It's taken far too long for us to finally run into one another. I couldn't reveal my physical form to you within the dream world, but here we are. Even before now, I was with you for every step of the journey. I guided you to where you needed to be, to where you are now. I orchestrated the events that would lead you to this, to me. Why? It's simple, Voltsy. You're important to the future of this world. You, a conduit. A conduit between the dream, and wo dream world and reality. The power you've developed can allow me to bring about a new world. One where the dream ends. And reality starts anew. All the decisions you've made, Faulty, have led you to this. Led you to me, where together we can make things right. Everything you had within the dream, the bonds you forged with so many individuals, you alone had the ability to make those bonds, those dreams, into reality. It's time, Faulty. Let's end the dream once and for all. All you need to do, Faulty, is take my hand. Faulty, let's begin. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Help me start anew and bring everyone back. See, the thing I'm thinking about is... Didn't... Nova came to us, didn't she? And she was like... She was being control... So, I, I'm gonna... I'm rejecting Dark Rise off. I can't, I can't trust him. I think Nova... Maybe the reason Nova's not here is because she left. And tried to escape Dark Rai. It's gotta be. Reject. I see. So, you would deny this opportunity, Volty. You'd throw all of your friends away. You chose to rot in the dreamscape alone. The two of you. What did you do? We thought... We thought they believed us. We thought we'd convinced... Pathetic, the both of you. I watched your efforts in Aerith with sheer disappointment. Both of you lost control, countless times. The Onyx Stone, the bitter rivalry, none of it mattered. And yet, you fell into your own trap. Just like Nova did. I'll deal with you later. Voltsy, you're no different from the rest. I'm not entirely surprised. Just another failure, and to think you could have been something greater. No matter, your resistance is meaningless. So, yeah, they were all being controlled by Darkrai, so... We made the right choice! My future has not changed. Yours, however, is non-existent. Oh. I will have my new world, Voltsy. Through Darkrai's hand, you feel a strange force within you. You lack the insight to fight back and cannot resist. Oh. Of course, you, would f you thought you could resist? How childish. Finally, after all this time, I will have my new world. How do we get more insight? I know we got insight when we went through the mansion, but I don't know, I missed any. Faulty, do you know where we are? Truly. To you, this is the home of Shiv and Aurora, where they lived their childhood in peace, before being swept into the dream. To you, they existed here before their lives were beyond saving, before they were destined to be greater. Or, so they would believe. In reality, it was all meaningless. This manner, their legacy, it all comes down to nothing. This world is a dreamscape. Tell me, Faultsy, do you really think that the dreamscape holds any kind of meaningful existence? Not for myself, it doesn't. Not anymore. The rest of Otis shares a similar story. Their existence here is simple, empathetic. Life is scripted and predictable. Think that this world is all that reality has to offer. You'd have to be dreaming. Isn't that right, Faultsy? How foolish are you, really? Then you could deny me, to fight back. You're weak, and in your mind, the only thing that made you resist me was the words of that wench Lilith. You know absolutely nothing about this world. 
The dreamscape? This is my world, Faulty. But what, what I want is a new world. A world where I can thrive without needlessly hiding. A world with limitless potential. A world driven by conflict, but healed but healed by peace. Never stagnant. A world where hope proliferates through the masses, only to later dwindle again. A world where I can be free. All I needed was to be set free. Then I could finally have more. Who would you be to deny me of that? Who would you be? A small, petty trainer, standing in the way of my creation. Not the creation of a dream? No, a real world. Your world. Faulty, what the? Faulty, you hopeless fool. I was intended to, I was intended on ending the dream, yes. Ending my dream, the dreamscape, and bringing the dream to your world. This world, Aerith, is the new world that I wanted. What the hell is that thing? You gave me your hand, Faulty. Now, I need nothing more from you. Live out your pathetic existence with the rest while you still can. The dream is coming to Aerith. Not yet, it's not. Ah, of course. Nova. The one and only. Faulty, you saved me once. I'm here to return the favor. Come on, Darkrai. Really thought you could use me as a puppet forever? Once I was free, you five would be snubbed out so easily? You're in for a lesson. Who knew that you would continue to be a pest, girl? You should show some gratitude, girl. Before I took control of you and your petty organization, you're a waste of space. Give me control of your pathetically weak mind. That was a blessing for you, Nova. I gave you a purpose. A purpose? Who would have said that you gave me purpose? You took it from me when I was a child. You never had a chance to have a purpose. You took everything from me. Just like how you took everything from the twins and Lilith. If you weren't grateful of the world I gave you, you deserve no world at all. I won't make the same mistake twice. Damn it, Darkrai. I won't let you, not again. Several minutes earlier. Oh well, about time. Nova, there's not much time. Huh? What are you what are you talking about? What's going on? I couldn't stop them, Nova. What do you mean what happened? Faulty, they defeated Umbreon and I. Faulty tried to fight back against Darkrai as I thought they would, but my great my greatest fear came to be. The story you told me about insight, it was true. I told Faulty too much, Nova. They lacked insight into the dream and couldn't conjure the willpower to break Darkrai's hold. You don't mean. Despite Faulty's best efforts, Darkrai and Faulty both came through the portal. Darkrai has made it out of the dream and into Aerith. What? How could this have... The second I broke out of Darkrai's hold, I tried to communicate with Faulty. Before I was uh, snuffed out again. Before I could help them see. Looks like I was wrong. We failed Faulty, Lilith. If there's anyone to blame, it's me. Should have trusted Faulty and helped them defeat Darkrai. Instead, I let fear cloud my judgement. I tried to stop Faulty. The prospect of Darkrai coming to Aerith. It always, always was my fear, as soon as I broke free. I won't let things end like this. That monster will keep coming back, no matter what we do. If we're going to win, we've got to snuff it out for good. Faulty see me once, you know? It's about time that I return the favour. Darkrai had a control of all of us, right from the start. He used Aurora, Shiv and I to trick Faulty, to muddle with their reality, and made them lose focus of what was real. Now, we've got a chance for some payback. As foolish as it is, what other option do we have? Won't waste any time, Lilith. Nova, wait. Before you go, I need to know the truth. Oda's village. What is it exactly? The people that live there, they're not part of Darkrai's dream. Every person that Shiv, Aurora or I ever targeted resides in Oda's village. Anyone that had the ability to dream, like you, was a target for Darkrai. Anyone that had the potential to bring, in, bring it to this world. Those that uh, failed were left in Otis to live out a lie. It was all a meaningless cycle. Are they beyond saving? Normally, I would have said yes, but with Voltsy on our side and the cycle breaking, who knows? I can only hope that I save Shiv before time runs out. Good luck, Nova. Voltsy, Voltsy, come on, mate. Let's get a move on. That thing's gone, eh? Right? Ava, come on. Give me a hand. Wake up already. Almost lost you at Bontilia, but not this time. Hey, come on. Let's get inside, alright? Faulty, you're back. Faulty, where have you been? 
Faulty, what's going on? What on earth just happened out there? And no offense, but where have you been all this time? I've been searching for you for days. Now, I don't know much about Faulty's surprise holiday, but I can tell you that what I just saw outside was pretty wild. Take this seriously, Garrett. You might be blind as hell, but I'm not. That Pokemon, that was Darkrai. I remember reading about it in a book, back when I was a kid. That's the Pokemon that lives in people's dreams, right? The one that causes them to have nightmares. That's the one. But this Darkrai was different. Something was wrong, I don't know how to explain it. Darkrai isn't meant to be a malicious Pokemon. That much is certain. The nightmares that Darkrai invokes, they're actually meant to be a defense mechanism. Yet this Darkrai had nothing but malicious intent. The way it spoke, you know? Definitely not my friendliest encounter. Whatever it is, whatever it wants, sure as hell doesn't like us. This Darkrai was talking about bringing an entire dream to Aerith. What's that even mean? I don't know for sure, mate, but I can tell you one thing. It means that we've got something to worry about, if we don't piece this crap together. Crescent may have uh, been dealt with, but the foxes? Man, oh man. Dealing with the foxes and some crazy-ass Pokemon at the same time? I don't know, man. Speaking of which, what happened, mate? By the time reinforcements from Celia arrived at uh, Bountilia Island, you and Shiv were already gone. Yeah, Voltsy, it's time to spill the beans. You've been acting so strange lately, and all this stuff with the twins? They were always involved with you, but only when we weren't around. Where were you all this time? What happened? No way, a dream? All those times you were sleeping, it was Shiv and Aurora? They had this elaborate scheme going on the entire time. They were tricking you into making this happen? Here I thought Voltsy was just crazy. The stories, they must have been true. Oh, so you got a role in this too. I heard stories of a few people in Celia sharing the same dream. A dream of a dark town, seemingly governed by a pair of twins. Those people would wake up feeling as though they had lived a second life. You tell us this now? Come on, Rosetta! Why would I pay, why would I pay something like that any attention with, ever, with everything happening? How could I have known that the twin schemes were this at this, at this level of the threat? So it's a dream, Garrett. I suppose it would seem that that's not the case. It's not over, is it? The twins. I always knew that they were the real problem. Always in hiding, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Aurora, I should have stopped her when we had the chance. None of this matters, guys. We've got to focus on what, what we do next. Now, we've got the foxes and Darkrai to worry about. If we work together, there might still be a way. Darkrai. This Darkrai especially is tough. But there's still a Pokemon. So what gives? We split up? What's the plan here? The plan? Now it'd be me. Oh, Nova's back. Nova? Nova, huh? You know, in any other circumstances, I'd hate you. Likewise, Garrett. Don't know what happened out there? I suspect you do. After all, it looked to me like you saved Voltsy's ass. You could say that. Sorry for the bad rep, Voltsy. Okay, what's going on here? I'd double that. Isn't she the problem here? I was the problem, yes. Sounds to me like you might want to explain yourself, and now. Look, I didn't ask any of this. I was only, target I was only targeted by that monster for the same reason as the twins. Because I was different. Yeah, I had some of the abilities that they had, to a lesser extent. I could enter and exit the dream at will, just like Aurora and Shiv, just like Voltsy. Once Darkrai lures you in, you're done. You either help Darkrai fulfill his promise, or you end up like those those still stuck in the dream, an empty shell. Empty shell? Stuck? You and the twins run around causing problems everywhere you go. You weren't stuck. You were the ones messing things up from the start. I was different. Darkrai saw a use for me, like I did for the twins. I couldn't resist it, and neither could they. When it came down to it, we were more or less puppets. Our purpose was to find the next dreamer, and bring them to Darkrai. And that's Voltsy? Precisely. After our encounter with Aurora, I found myself becoming more aware of what was going on. I began to feel again. I could distinguish this mess from reality. The point is, I'm me, Nova. I can help you beat Darkrai. How do we know we can trust you? There's no way we, that we can. She's always caused problems for us. If she joins us now, we'll just ask her for trouble. I, I trust her. We're dealing with Darkrai that literally wants to destroy Aerith as we know it, right? If Darkrai wanted us dead, we'd be dead already. There's no way that I'd send Nova to meddle with us. Not that, not when we've already uh, basically lost. From the sounds of it, what other choice do we have but to give her a shot? Ah, uh, whatever. Believe what you want, but I ain't buying it. The nerd's right. What other choice do we have? We could sit here and squabble, or we could get to work. Since when have any of you panicked? Come on, you're all gym leaders. Or at the very least, exceptional trainers. Except Connor, of course. Seriously, even now? I'm the butt of the joke? <laughs> the fact that we're all still alive means something, doesn't it? Dark Rider just wanted us gone, we'll be gone. That's enough, folks. Till I say we don't have a chance, we always have one. 
Foxes, Crescent, Darkrai, it doesn't matter. When we work together, we've got the advantage. Why? Because we've got what Darkrai doesn't. We've got each other, the most talented trainers in Aerith. <laughs> what does Darkrai have, huh? Apart from those twins, that monster's all alone. So if we all work together, ain't nothing that'll get in our way. Aerith, she's asked to protect. Hey, he's in prison. Nice. So you better get protecting. Got Miller and Hardy still. Damn it. She's not coming back, is she? She had her chance, Hardy. Now it's our turn. So Amelia's gonna be the leader of Black Foxes, I'm guessing now. Oh, that's gonna cause a lot more problems, I think. Shiv, you alright? I I don't know. I just I feel something. Something I don't know. Different. Nova. Shiv. None of that matters, Shiv. Not anymore. No one, all of this is at stake. It's almost time. The dream will come to Aerith. Let's get to work. So that's Pokemon Desolation Episode 5. Oh, so what happens if I have more insight? And how do I get more insight? Did I miss something in the manor? I must have missed something in the manor. Like, I... I remember, like, the, um... You read the, the books, the little, like, star thing pops up, and it's like, oh, you got... You know, a bit of, like, insight washes over you or something, but... First thanks to everyone who has supported this fan game, including you, for playing it. Hey! Hope that you enjoyed your experience. I have! If you have, I would really appreciate it if you shared the game. We're excited to join you... We're excited to join you for the next update of Pokemon Desolation. Hey! I can know if episode 6. And that you can now visit the dreamscape at any time by sleeping in your bed. Oh! So... Wait, what? I'm not gonna leave your side, Volty, not this time. Oh, okay, it's just a little... ghost. Like... Oh, what did I miss? Oh, I'm trying to think, like, I want to go back into the, the dreamscape and try and look around, but... <laughs> I don't think it really matters anymore. Maybe I should try and get more insight still, if I can. Just in case episode 6, you, you need more insight. But I guess it doesn't really matter now, because now we know. So I guess it doesn't really... Doesn't really matter. But... It, at, least, at least Nova kind of saved us, which is good, but... I, I don't know what... I wonder what happens, like, if, if... You don't save... Nova, or if, like... She doesn't want to save you, or I... I there's so many like, different outcomes I want to know. But I feel like we got a bad ending. But maybe like a normal it I don't know. I'd say bad ending because we didn't have enough insight, but... Because we had Nova on our side, maybe that balanced out a little bit and we got like a normal ending? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm... Oh, I'm just... I want to know, dude. I want to know. Got to save the game. Oh, but that was really, really good. And the moment, the moment episode 6 updates. Well, I say the moment. The moment it updates and we are, we have time. Like, if I'm, you know, currently doing, like, 20 projects and then I'm obviously doing other things outside of, you know, YouTube and stuff. Can't get to it right away. But I will, the moment it, it, it drops, I will get to it as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Because I need to, oh, I need to know this game is so good. So, so good. Ah. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace.